And now you might be like, whoa, Vlad, that escalated quickly. And uh, let me tell you why I say that. So first of all, the AI builder has been removed as a topic from the PL900 Power Platform Fundamental Certification. It's not something that people need to know anymore, not only to get PL900 certified, Microsoft said this is not something you need to know as part of the Power Platform Fundamentals. Of course, the APL7004 applied skill we just talked about is getting retired, and we even see SharePoint Content AI is moving away from using AI builder models in their tools. Uh, I took a slide from the recent Microsoft 365 community conference where if we look at the past generation, that's where we have the AI builder models that exist there today. That Microsoft considers that past generation where if we look at the next generation, we have LLM based stuff. There is all in autofill columns. So that was my initial reaction after seeing all of those three things, putting them together. I was like, wow, is Microsoft killing the AI builder? But then I started researching a bit more deeper into it. And I looked at the roadmap where Microsoft publishes the roadmap. And I realized there's actually over 10 features planned for the AI builder in the 2025 release wave one. 